Hey guys, Baltrex Pretzel here, and welcome back to another speed build, speed reno, speed whatever. So, this uh, Friday's build is a speed build of an apartment or a speed renovation, whatever you'd like to call it. And I have challenged myself to attempt to not say um or uh as much as possible, trying to cut that out because it's something that I've noticed that I do a lot in my videos. Whenever I watch one back, all I can hear is, um, uh, um, um, anyways, you know, stuff like that. So I'm trying to like cut that out a little bit because I sort of annoy myself when I hear that. I just keep thinking back to that episode of How I Met Your Mother where the college students take a shot every time Robin says, but um. Moving on. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Already? Okay. Moving on. Because this is an apartment build and it's very, very short, I decided to put uh, meeting the family at the very beginning of this build just because there is no build slash furnishing separation like there normally is in my speed builds. So no real place to put the family, and I didn't really want to put them at the end of this video. So here they are at the beginning. Let's go ahead and meet them. So this family is a young couple, Gabriel and what's her name again? Christine. Uh, they met when they were teenagers, but they never really got together. They weren't even that close of friends for a really long time. And then maybe when they went to college or something, they you know, got together, they met up, they started dating. Two years into their relationship, Christine un unexpectedly got pregnant. So at that point, Gabriel, who was already completely in love with her, asked Christine to marry him, and she said yes. So, of course, if you're in a relationship with someone and you get them pregnant, you don't have to get married, but in The Sims, when you're in Create a Sims, you, if you want to share a kid with another sim, you guys have to be married. Only in Create a Sim, when you play the game, as you guys I'm sure know, when you play the game, your sims don't have to be married to have a kid. But in Create a Sims, you do, so that's really the only reason I decided to get them married. So, Gabriel Fields is a musical genius. He has the music lover trait, he's a foodie, and he loves the outdoors. So... His everyday outfit doesn't really scream musician, but the way I see it is when he found out that Christine was pregnant, he realized that they would have to make a little bit more money. They already made enough to live comfortably, just the two of them in a relatively small apartment. Actually, no. I, for, for three and a half, it's actually a pretty decent sized place, come to think of it. Anyways, um, damn it, I said, um... Okay. Anyways, they need a little bit more money because you know you're gonna you have an extra mouth to feed, you have clothes to buy, you have furniture to buy. So you know he just needed to make a little bit more money. So he left whatever he was doing in the music world, which in my head was nothing really big. You know, it's not like he was a rock star or anything. So he left that and he got a job in the business career to help make a little bit more money. And he sort of bought a new wardrobe to sort of fit in better at the office. And I mean, you can't really wear ripped jeans at most business offices. Um, so that is his everyday outfit. Next up, we have his formal, which is really laid back. It's not really what a businessman would wear. He'd be all suited up, maybe a bow tie or something. I'm thinking Richard Gilmore from Gilmore Girls. Uh, but maybe that's just, damn, I said, ah. Uh. Maybe that's just because I've been watching Gilmore Girls all day. Anyways, next up we have his formal wear, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. Then we have Christine, his wife, who, um, she has the super parent aspiration. When she found out she was pregnant, and once she had her daughter, she was just super excited and she really wanted to be the best parent she could ever be. She didn't have the best upbringing. Her parents weren't always around, which is something she doesn't want for her kid. She wants to be present. She wants to be her kid's best friend, but also a fantastic parent. Uh, she's a 
why do I keep saying ah? Uh? Oh my god. Anyways, she's a bookworm, she's outgoing, and she's creative. I really see her in the social media career branch that came with the City Life pack, but she also is really interested in being an author. So I'm thinking that maybe originally she was an author or a journalist or something, and she just wanted something that could make her a little bit more money and, okay, maybe realistically speaking, being in the social media career branch wouldn't make you that much more money, but let's just say, for the sake of this video, that it made more money than being a journalist. So this is her everyday outfit. As you guys can see, she got her before baby body back really quickly. Um, she had, this is her formal wear, I don't know why she said she has. Next up we have her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. And last but not least, we have their adorable little daughter, Serenity Fields, who has the silly trait. So she's really, really cute. I'm just going to zoom in on her face. She's going to be a real knockout when she's older. I can just see it. And I say that I can see it because every time I make a kid in The Sims and I do it based on the play with genetics uh, option, I always see what they look like as teenagers because just I'm really interested to see what they'll look like when they're all grown up because when they're toddlers they pretty much all have the same face. Moving on, she has her dad's need for glasses and her mom's freckles. Freckles. Her mom has a couple freckles across the bridge of her nose whereas Serenity has them all over her face. So this is Serenity's everyday outfit. Next up we have her formal, her sleepwear, and her party wear. And that's that for the family. Let's get to the apartment build, reno, furnishing, whatever you want to call it. So it's time to watch the speed renovation whatever. So first thing I did was I just bulldozed over whatever was already there. So this is a 12 by 16 apartment, or that's what it's listed at in, as anyways when I save it. Which, by the way, I saved it as a kitchen because you can save... You can only save apartments as rooms and not as lots. So when you guys download this property, you guys have to make sure to rebuild some walls uh, that connect every room. And I just, the walls I, I uh, got rid of were the ones by doorways or arches. So it's really easy to know where to put it. And there's no decora decorative items that got lost in the mix. Yeah, so this was an apartment I built in the Medina Studios Apartments. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom that comes out to 59,121 simoleons. So it is relatively affordable and has very nice furnishings, if I do say so myself. You know, not to toot my own horn or anything. So yeah, this is the kitchen, obviously. I'm decorating it as best as I can. I also didn't want to go crazy over budget, so I didn't use the uh, I didn't use the highest uh, oh my god <laughs> what are words I didn't use the most expensive appliances I didn't use the most expensive stove or fridge or anything like that because I still wanted this place to be relatively affordable uh, but there's you know a lot of counter space a lot of kitchen storage which I think is great so I think it's always helpful next up we have the bathroom over here so I kept it pretty simple. We have a tub, we have a shower. I do go back in near the end of the video to add the potty for the toddler since at first I wasn't sure that there would be a toddler in this build. I sort of decided it while I was furnishing the living room. I was like, you know what? This young couple's gonna have a kid. Yep. Still trying not to say um. It's really hard not to say it because it's just so... It's just what I do naturally, apparently. Anyways, for the living room, I put three couches. Uh, third one's yet to come. Don't you worry, it'll show up. Two bookcases, and I also have the little office desk corner thing. A computer for each sim, and they get to work side by side because, well, they don't have much room elsewhere to do it. I could have put another desk in the corner where that double ended, the double 
squared bookcase is, but I really like the look of the bookcase that fits so snugly there. So, I mean, if you guys wanted a second desk instead of a shared desk, you guys can for sure delete that or even, I mean, you guys can change this however you want it to suit your needs. So the third couch, you can't really see it because there is a dark flooring, but it's a black three-seater couch. When... So I didn't film this part when I added the instruments, like I told you guys, but you'll see them in the screenshots. I added two guitars and a piano, well, a keyboard. Uh, and the keyboard, I put it in the living room. Now, what I had to do was I had to get rid of the three-seater black couch, and I changed it with a two-seater black couch. So it's not a huge change. It's one seat less, but I mean... You really don't need that many seats in that specific living room. So, unfortunately, this bed is not very comfortable. So, if you guys are going to have Sims move in here, you might want to change this bed to a slightly more expensive one that'll be more comfortable. But I just felt like the pattern and the sheets just was so fitting of this apartment. I really, really like the sheet options you get for that basic base game uh, bed. I just really hate that it's always uncomfortable for your sims yeah so i've said uh, a couple times and i really hate myself for that but I, I i can't seem to help it though i do think i've said it less in this video than in any other video because i'm so conscious about trying to stop it so when i realized that i didn't really have much room to put all the toddler things and still have the apartment look very nice and neat I decided to delete the toddler bookcase. I figure the toddler could probably read from or grab a toddler book from any other bookcase, right? And if not, I figured I'd change the one uh, by the desks. Anyways, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. Check out my other channel. Leave a comment on what you th thought of this uh, apartment. And download this house and this family. Bye. Have a great day and thank you for watching.